we will stop there and welcome Congresswoman Susan Davis, who yesterday introduced House Resolution 4509, the newest and most important current piece of legislation adopting a framework for social and emotional learning in the title that supports teachers. Congresswoman Davis, we're thrilled to have you and we're very grateful to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. How is everybody? I know you've been sitting a while, you're probably getting a little hungry. Can I just uh, see with a show of hands, how many of you are here from many of the nonprofits that are very supportive of this legislation? Great, that's, that's good to know. And staff members as well from different offices? Terrific, kind of half and half. Uh, but, it, but it's good to know, and I certainly want to thank you all. Thank you, Tim, as well. We just met, so nice to meet I you. don't know you, but I was really <laughs> impressed <friends> by, <laughs> by everything that you had to say. And I also want to, of course, applaud my colleague, Tim Ryan, uh, because he really has been the champion and leading the way uh, in SEL legislation, and I'm delighted to have an opportunity to, to work with him. As you know, we did drop our bill yesterday, and I was pleased to have a chance to do that, and I guess it was a bonus that Secretary Arne Duncan was at the Education Committee yesterday and had a chance to ask him about that as well. And I think that his response you know, was, was a great one, and I think that there are a lot of doubters out there, and that's why I wanted to ask him, so you know, what, what does this mean? Because I, I went through some of these, um, I guess the, the health care for, for kids uh, and clinics wars in San Diego many, many years ago. I was a school board member in the 80s, and I could tell you that when we tried to introduce, and we were successful in it eventually, an opportunity for young people to go to school and to actually have a primary care provider who could help them, not just with physical issues, but with men mental health issues as well, with wellness issues. Uh, we had people from, it felt like throughout the country, who descended on San Diego to say, no, 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 this is a job of parents. You don't do anything in this area. And they were very alarmed by that. What we know now is that that's not the case, that having a place for young people to go and to have a chance to, you know, to share and to become advocates for one another in, in their wellness is a good thing. It's a good thing for all students. And so I think that's where I come from in bringing this bill forth and in working certainly with Michelle on my staff now, who's a, a fellow and working uh, so well with us and trying to see what are some of these pieces. And I loved your chart because I think that really does explain, yes, we have a lot of programs. I was just at the Holocaust Memorial Service and that is about remembrance, but it's also about rebirth. And that really is a message that many of our teachers uh, try and, and implement in their schools and across school districts everywhere. There are a number of programs, but trying to have a framework for that, trying to have a way that we connect it with research, that we connect it with grants that are out there but could be utilized in a different way. That's what this is all about, and that's what my legislation is about, and I know that you have that information as well. The other thing I wanted to just mention really briefly, because I spent a few days, you know, we had our recess period um, the last two weeks, and one of the things that I really like to do is to go out to, to businesses, high-tech companies in my district, but also to manufacturing companies, and to have a chance to talk to them about what they do and how they hire. What are they looking for? And what they're looking for, they're looking for problem solvers. They're looking for people who can sit down and can weigh and balance what's happening in their environment and try and contribute to that in a very productive way. He's looking for grit in some ways, and we're talking about the people who just come in and kind of do their job, but people who go beyond that, who, who add value because they're thinking all the time, how can we make this work for the people that we're trying to work for? And it was great to talk to them about that issue. And that's what I think we're trying to do as well with this legislation, to respond to employees who, and employers who, who really know that 
when people come to them and they've experienced a very positive way of working with others, I mean, it's a little bit like, you know, in kindergarten, you know, uh, you know what we learn from those experiences, but how we take them into our lives. And that's what we're trying to capture. And, you know, sometimes people feel that, you know what, kids are going to learn this stuff on the natural. Well, they may with good teachers and obviously with parents and the community and whether it's scouting, whatever it is that they engage in. But to take that and be able to take it to a different level, that's what we're looking for in this kind of legislation. And I think it's uh, really, I hope that we can move this forward, we can connect it to the very areas that, that we know would make a real difference. And I thank you so much for being part of that, for helping us out as we worked on this legislation and help us to collect the kind of hard evidence on this. Because sometimes, quite honestly, we've got to convince others that this makes a difference and that it will make a difference in the lives of young people and their achievement and more than anything else and what they want to be able to do with their lives. They want to find a fulfilling job that they're passionate about and a career they want to find a way that they can give back to a community. And when people are happy and they connect with who they are and how they can work in an environment that really values their, their skills, but even more so their, their talent, their ingenuity, their ability to innovate, to do things in a different way when they see a need, that's what everybody wants. And I think that's what we want for our kids. And we want to connect with that at an early enough age that they value that as well. So thank you all so much for what you've done. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.